three, two, one. You ready? You're listening to the Real Pineapple Podcast Network. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, days, and gays. This is The Real Pineapple. This is your humble host, Hunter, here. Hope you're all having a great night, weekend, day, whenever you're checking this out. I've got a review for a little short film uh, called Ice Merchants, which is directed by uh, Yao Gonzalez, who is um, up for the Oscar for, uh, for Best Short Film, which, let's fucking go. I'm... I'm so excited that uh, I'm so excited that he's up for this short film, and I will say I went ahead and I watched this. Uh, I got a screener for it, but you can go ahead and stream this on YouTube. It's on the New Yorker's official uh, official uh, website and or YouTube page. Pardon me. And just right out the gate, I have true admiration for the short film because uh, Mr. Gonzalez. He directed this. He wrote it. He did. Uh, he helped on the score. Um, he was an animator on this. Uh, he he pretty much did fucking everything on this. And I got a chance to interview him. That review will be. Uh, that interview will be up uh, in tandem by the time you hear this. And so just off that, I admire the fact that he was able to make all this work, and the fact that he did. Everything that he wore, every hat essentially, uh, to go ahead and make uh, Ice Merchants work. The big thing I, the biggest compliment I can give this film, probably just out the gate, is it's breathtaking. The use of animation, it really, I, I was talking to my partner about this. I love the old school Disney animation, just the hand drawn, like, yes, obviously I love, you know, Toy Story and, you know, the Pixar stuff where it's, you know, 3D animation, but there is something so pure about, you know, that earlier style of animation where you had animators just, you know, just hand drawing everything. There's something about a hand drawn aesthetic that I just still get really excited for it's it's very much in the same way that when i hear one of my favorite bands do an acoustic cover of one of their songs i just go that's nice that that's nice that just kind of calms me and i think in the same way that acoustic guitar kind of calms me this animation style uh calms me and in the way that it works in tandem with the score it's just it's absolutely beautiful so as far as what the plot is of this, we have two people, a uh, son, uh, son and a father. And one thing that I really like about this, that animation, that the animation enhances, is that it makes you realize that when you're a kid, your parents feel like giants to you, whether that's just in the way that we perceive them or if they're actually, you know, giant. And <laughs> the way that the dad is shown here he feels like he's seven feet tall. And so the way that the son just kind of looks up at him, you go, oh, he's just, he's literally and figuratively looking up to his dad. There's this point at around the two minute mark where you see the dad <laughs> with his son. Um, I'm blanking on the term, not, not like a, like a pouch, but he's got his son strapped to his chest and I like the subtlety of having the dad wearing red, the son wearing orange, and right at the two minute, like right just after the two minute mark, like at the two minute, two second mark, I believe, is where we see the dad go ahead and dive with his son and it stops for a second. And then we get the ice merchants title screen that that was badass. I, I absolutely love that shot. And we actually see their hats go ahead and fall off of their heads, but it leads to this amazing zoom in to go ahead and see the dad falling from the feet up. The The way the animation goes ahead and uses multiple different camera angles, that's what's going to keep, that's one of the things that kept me engaged and just kept me, you know, breathless as I was watching this. Um, as far as the score, which I, which I mentioned, 
it reminds me a lot of like reminds me a lot of Nine Days score. And I know I bring up Nine Days uh, score a decent amount, but that score in particular, I I have no idea if it was influenced by that, but it feels it's very much in that same sort of realm. And so, if there is ever a vinyl of this put out, I already have this <laughs> score saved on my Spotify, but. It's a score I've already listened to a couple times, start to finish, and just went, this is cool. I, I really like this. But what's really fascinating about this is how there's not one word spoken in this film at any point, and yet you feel the warmth between the son and the dad. Right around the like four-minute mark, we actually see the dad making uh, like a stew for him and his son, and again, the perspective of him towering over the stove. But just seeing how even the son just grabs, you know, grabs two cups uh, for him and his dad. But you notice that there are three cups there. And so the son has obviously lost their other parent and the dad has lost their partner. And it really is the subtlety, again, no word spoken at any point in this, it's the subtlety of this film to go ahead and relay information to its audience. And you've heard me, if you listen to the podcast for a decent amount of time, you've heard me rant about how I it bugs the absolute hell out of me <laughs> when films won't trust their audience to connect the dots. Sometimes do you need to have the subtlety of a sledgehammer? Absolutely. But this film does a really good job of relaying information to you without spoon feeding it to you. It truly is a visual film. And I give I, I give this whole team so much credit for being able to relay so much information for us to care about our characters and yet not say a word. Like that's a <coughs> pardon me, that's a hell of a line walk. And this film does an incredible job of doing it. As I mentioned earlier, uh, that initial jump, you see their hats go ahead and fall off their heads like they lose them but there's this point later on in the short film where the sun is looking out looking out across the sky and the night and the dad just reaches his new pocket grabs a brand new hat and you can tell because the tags are still on there and the sun just kind of looks at him and gives him a hug and again i i don't want to spoil everything in here because i i do think visually there's so much to go ahead and appreciate. And again, I think the storytelling does a great job of going ahead and relaying so much information, but it's really quite phenomenal that this film is about just under 15 minutes. It's about 14 and a half minutes if memory serves. And yet you get a sense of this community that they're helping. You get a sense of what this job means to the dad. You get a sense of what uh, the warmth that they have for each other, uh, you know, uh, not just when they're hugging, but literally and figuratively. This is incredibly well done, especially when it's at night and you get these really cool shots of, you know, the fire in the background crackling and setting off light as they're sitting at the table. And when they're actually, you know, diving uh, or uh, yeah, when they're actually diving and there's just, there's so, it's a visual feast, honestly. And I, you know, admittedly, from a selfish perspective, would have I liked to have this, for this to have been maybe multiple shorts? Yeah. But honestly, if they can make something like this, I, I don't know what the budget was on this, but if they can make something like this, I would love to see this animation style return, or even maybe these characters return. It's incredibly well handled, it's incredibly well done, and I am pulling, pulling for this film to win the Oscar because I just had, this was truly a joyous thing for me. Just from the animation, from the story, from the score, everything works in tandem so well to create an amazing experience. And at the end of the day, that's all you can really ask for. I would give this a solid A. I really enjoyed this. As I mentioned, this is streamed for free on YouTube, so uh, on the New Yorker's uh, YouTube uh, channel. But if you just type in Ice Merchants, it'll it'll pop up. But really enjoyed this. Had a blast with it. Please watch this. Please support this film 
because it deserves your time and it deserves your praise. So yeah, solid A from me. But everyone, what did you think of uh, Ice Merchants? Let us know in the comments. You can follow yours truly on the Twitter at jhunterrealpineapple. Uh, go ahead and find our uh, follow our link tree. That's gonna have all of, uh, all the places you can find us on socials. There's 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 a lot of places to find us. Uh, you can find us on l i n k t r dot e e uh, slash j hunter real pineapple. Um, oh gosh, where else? Uh, you can find me on Letterboxd at Black Shazam. You can find me on TikTok at Black Shazam seven seven five. You can follow me on Instagram at j hunter real pineapple. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Find us on SoundCloud, Apple, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Amazon Music, Tune Up, and Samsung Podcasts, name a few, at The Real Pineapple. And don't forget to like both our pages on Facebook at The Real Pineapple and Real Pineapple Games. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jhunterrealpineapple. Um, thank you so much for listening, everyone. We're going to have... Got quite a few reviews coming up. So I've got a review uh, with Mr. Gonzalez, which we'll be releasing by the time you listen to this. Uh, it'll be releasing in tandem. I have a review with uh, Michael Marin uh, coming up um, for uh, the uh, latest Michael Shannon film, uh, A Little White Lie, which also has uh, Don Johnson and, uh, oh my gosh, Kate, uh, Kate uh, not Kate Winslet, oh my gosh, uh, why can't I think of Kate Hudson? Good lord, that took way too long. Uh, but I'm going to have uh, reviews up uh, with him and a review for that film as well. I've got a review coming up with first-time director S.J. Finley uh, for his first uh, feature day f- uh, film debut, Boy From Nowhere. I've got a review uh, coming up for The Integrity of Joseph Chambers along with a review with, uh, with uh, oh my gosh... I am forgetting names tonight, uh, with uh, Clayne Crawford, who was the star and a producer on that. And for Women's History Month, I've got a review of CC Dances to Go-Go, which you can also stream on YouTube. And I'm going to have a review with the director of that short film, Aaron C. Buckley, as well. That'll all be coming out here in the next week and a half or so. But everyone, thank you so much for listening. Stay safe out there. Take care of each other. And again, thank you for all your support. And we'll talk to you soon.